Hi guys, in this video tutorial I will show you how to uh, write a bash, bash script which will check certain servers availability. So let's start. Our script will be easeup.sh. Each and every script is beginning with these signs and then the address of interpreter should be written. So our interpreter is bare so we will type slash bin slash bash now let's check if our script is working it shouldn't yeah. is up sh we have no execute permission so we so we should add execution permission for our user and then the file's name comes and is up is now working. Is up should be modified now to check if certain server is available. So let's do this. Let's type ping minus c2, which means ping two times, send two ICMP echo requests to, for example, Google's public DNS server. Let's check if it works. One, two, and it exits. So, as we can see, we have a normal outputs. We uh, receive ICMP replies, which means that the server is available. But we are not going to parse this output and to decide if the server is available or not from this output. We will do a smart thing. Let's go to mom page of ping command and go all the way way down to this manual it's, it's not so far and read this, read this paragraph here we have if ping does not receive any reply packet at, at all it will exit with code 1 if a packet count and deadline these are two options we will discuss them later are both specified and fewer than count packets are received by the time the deadline has arrived, it will also exit with code 1. On other error it exits with code 2. This error is may be software or hardware error or other errors. Otherwise, which means if everything is ok, it exits with code 0. This makes it possible to use the exit code to see if a host is alive or not. So we will use the exit code to see if, if our Google public DNS is alive or not. So let's see how can we do it. To, to get exit code of previous command in Linux command line, we should use echo dollar sign question mark sign. As we see, the exit code is zero, which means everything is okay, server is alive, alive and available is up let's go to modify this so we have pink t server now we will write if statements statement to check the possible values of exit code of previous command which is ping for for our case let's see if if dollar sign question mark is equal to zero which is good as we remember then echo server is alive else echo this was a good server we are so sorry and finish the if statement and let's check if our shell script is working properly come on server is alive what what was okay it works it says that server is alive let's let's find a server which is not alive 
for example, ping 111, it is not alive, and check if it works for bad case 2. Let's replace the address of Google's public DNS server with this fake address. And it says that this was a good server, we, we are so sorry. Okay. Now let's let's modify our shell script a, a little bit to add some intelligence to it. To let's say that we are we are checking the availability of of not certain server but an argument. Is is dollar sign one is the first argument? I'm not sure. Let's check is up and the address yes that is the first argument so we can we can say check for availability for this server for cisco armenia.com cisco cisco armenia.com Isn't it the one? Well, maybe, maybe ping is blocked on this server. It's available, but ping is blocked. Let's ping dot 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 Cisco Armenia.com, and it's available. Let's check, check it with. Our script is up. Where is our script? Here is our script. We www. I'm sorry for this. Okay. Our server is available now. Our script is not working for only one server. We can pass the argument argument and it can be any IP or address or or the uh, host name of our server okay but we still can make make it better and we should return to mount page of ping and see what is deadline and count we already used count with with option minus C we say that our ping ping uh, program should send n for example 2 or 100 ICMP requests but let's see what is W ok deadline deadline is time out in seconds for certain amount of ICMP requests so if if we do this minus w okay. insert mode minus w and say that we expect to to receive two echo replies I within one second if it's not it will exit with, with error code 1 and which means that our script will say that the, the server is not available so let's check if it is available for this script this was a good server we are sorry which means that one second is not enough to to receive all echo replies and we will increase that number now it now we can see that it it says that it's live because two seconds is enough to two seconds are enough to receive two echo replies but we can make our script even more better with specifying interval 
Wait interval second between any packet that the input wave or one second we can only super user. Okay, this is not a good idea because it will work for only root user, but we can decrease the interval so uh, so one second will be enough to to receive much more echo replies from this server because the interval between echo requests will, will be will can be less than one second as we can see it can be 0 0.2 seconds 0 0.1 second for for example but only uh, only root user will be uh, allowed to run that command so we will not do that so our our script is not is not that bad but here is a problem we know that from from our our workstation it needs eight, about 80 milliseconds to uh, to travel to server and back uh, but the situation can be different with other hosts for example let's let's check if yahoo will be available in such case it's live uh, i need a bad server to check this okay two seconds are not enough for two packets come back for so www.ciscoarmenia.com ciscoarmenia.com and let's modify modify our script to be sure that it will work for any any server let's replace the timeout with 5 seconds instead of 2 and check again okay it's it it allow it is live now so we need at most five seconds to to be sure that our ser server is allowed or know that it is not al alive sorry al alive or uh, be sure that it is not available at least for ICMP many people block the ICMP on that on their servers they think that this is good for security purposes but that is not true that makes uh, the administration and maintenance a uh, nightmare so don't do that let let people ping your server maybe they are checking something maybe they will see if if your server is alive or not okay and you definitely shouldn't do that when you are checking your server's available availability and so okay this this was a uh, shell script for checking the availability of certain server we now know how to ch pass the argument we know the first argument can be get with dollar sign one and the exit code of last command in in linux is available on dollar sign question mark so and this is basically the if statement you should use when we, you are writing a bash code okay sorry okay this this is it make write your comment ask ask any to any, ask for ask a, for a video for any topic and if you know something to add also i will appreciate have a good day bye